today's lesson is going to take a little bit, a lot of it actually. It's more like a project. So our notebook page is 98, which means you need to very carefully check your notebook page to make sure that you count correctly and number your page, notebook page 98, and circle it and highlight it, right? So our learning target today and for this like following few days is I can identify some common terrain features on a topographic map. Topographic map is sometimes said topographic and sometimes called for short topo map. So our first term is topographic map. Say it with me, topographic map. These are maps that show elevation, which is height above or below sea level and shape by using contour lines. Whoa, contour lines. What are those? Well, they're our next term. Contour lines. Say it with me. Contour lines. Contour lines are lines on a map joining points of equal height. So let's say I was looking at a city or an ocean and I wanted to know where to build my house. And so I looked at something like this. This is a topographic map. And if you look at this map really carefully, you can see that there's an ocean and a river, and then there's all these funky lines, and it's really hard to tell what each one of them are. But what each one of them does is it tells you how high above sea level an elevation is or a landform is. This is what's called a saddle. These are hills. This is a depression. This is a river. Here's the ocean. And then you have some numbers here. And just for fun, we'll say their feet um, or meters. Those are what usually are used for contour maps. And so this is 20 feet above ocean level. This is 100 feet above ocean level. This is 200 and 300. You're going to learn today um, how to read um, a topographic map. And then I'm going to ask you to label a topographic map. I'm going to actually give you this diagram. And I want you to label the lowest elevation, the direction of water flow, just use an arrow, a cliff, a hill, and a depression to finish notebook page 98. And then I'm going to ask you some questions about it. All right, so let me give you an example of what our project is. So today, you are going to complete your notebook page then you are going to watch a video and learn about how to read topographic maps. And as you watch it, you're going to fill in these blanks and look at these pictures so that you can figure out how to read a topographic map. It's actually super cool. And then once you have figured out how to read a topographic map, um, I will ask you to build one. And you're going to get lots of choice today. Um, but let me give you an example of what that looks like. So here's a topographic landform with a contour interval of 20 feet. And look, here's what it looks like in 3D. You're going to build one of these in 3D. So if I turn it, you can almost see that it's pretty close to what's there. So you're going to watch a little video on how to make them 3D out of either cardboard or foam or cereal board, but you'll need to make sure that you're actually building something 3D. So your choices today of building something 3D um, really have quite the range. Um, if you're working with a partner and you're really like, I totally am good at cutting out things, then you might want to work with one with a lot of lines, like a ridge. Okay, or you might want to go by yourself and do one with just a few lines. This one has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just nine lines, not too bad. You might want to do something to show an increasing slope. You see, this is this. You might want to do a valley. See, here's a picture of a valley, and here's what it actually looks like on a map. Here's a saddle, and here's what it actually looks like from the top when you use a the map. There's a lot of cutting for that one. Um, the depression is actually kind of fun. Not like you're so depressed, but like it's a depression. So here's like a crater um, and you count the lines for contour lines. Or you could do a hill, just a plain simple hill. Or you could do an island. So the island is probably the least 
amount of work, okay? Um, you could do one with a river. This one has a river in it. Um, and so pick one that you think you and your partner, or you do not have to have a partner, but you can only have one partner, not two, one partner. So we can either have one person working by themselves or two people working together, okay, to create a topographic map. It's a lot of cutting, it's a lot of gluing, and if you want to color it, you can color it too. Um, anyway, have fun figuring out how to build a 3D topographical model using contour lines, and then you'll be able to show them to the class and explain what they look like. All right, have a good one.